My name's Daffy Chappie, and today it's time to summon forth the powers of some really cool stuff, because we're gonna be taking a look at every spell in the Conjuration School of Magic. I'm gonna be briefly touching on each spell and rating it on Davy's Davy Meter. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you think that special summoning is more in the meta than ritual summoning, feel free to play your Conjurer of Cheap Tricks however you'd like. Also, I would like to give a brief shout out to my new patrons this month. Caleb! Andrew Neal! Reedon! William Justin St. Clair! Draven Prince of Winter! Man Behind the Ink! Jack Branca, McFloss, Duncan Rapole, Romlord Steve, Cool Nerd 108, Derek Manasco. Thank you all so much for your loving patronage. I'm sure that I will prove your purchase a smart one as I make memes on the internet and shout into my microphone. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So, Conjuration is the speciality of those who don't have many friends, so they decide to kidnap all manner of creatures from other dimensions and enslave their minds to do their biddings like the little sociopaths they are. Conjuration also focuses on spinning the worldly elements elements into existence, and forming them into combative forms such as a wall of thorns or a knife made of ice. But that's enough backstory, let's get right into the spells themselves, starting with CANTRIPS! Acid Splash. Theoretically, it can be one of the most damaging cantrips. Realistically, you'll transfer between this and another damaging cantrip as your needs suit you. Create Bonfire. I don't like that it's concentration, but planting it somewhere means that the enemies have to move around it. Infestation. Sure, it doesn't do much damage, but who cares, you get to throw bees at people! Mage Hand. The utility of Mage Hand should not be underestimated. Grabbing things from far away is useful, and it being a cantrip means that you you will always have it. Poison Spray. This spell does great damage, but it being a poison damage type means that as you go up in levels, more and more enemies will be either resistant or totally immune to it. Produce Flame. It's the druid's best damaging cantrip, and it at least pretends to help you see in the dark. Sword Burst. Sure, it hits everybody around you, but since only arcane casters can take it, why the hell are you getting yourself surrounded in the first place? First level! Arms of Hadar. The only reason the spell doesn't fall into my normal complaint about needing to be surrounded is that it actually works to get you out of that situation as soon as possible. Ensnaring Strike. Assuming it lands, this spell can open up the potential for some sick teamwork attacks. It also works with ranged weapons, so yay! Entangle. It's like the last spell, but so much better. Just make sure that your friends don't step into it unless they want to get fondled by some branches. Find Familiar. Even if you aren't a warlock, having a familiar scouting ahead for you saves you from so many ambushes, and no one expects the squirrel in the room to be a secret double agent. Fog Cloud. Fun fact, darkness is level 2, and these spells are functionally the same thing. The only difference is how they can be dispelled, and that darkness can admittedly be cast on an item, but that isn't a big enough reason to not take this anyway. Grease. So, two things. One, one, grease created from the spell is in fact not flammable, and two, the material component for the spell is actually butter. These are things that I learn when I do these videos. Hail of Thorns. This, just like the smite spell, should not be a bonus action, especially when it can only be used by the ranger who already has trouble with concentration economy. The one that I'm giving it isn't for the actual spell's effects, it's for the shit hand that you're getting dealt unless you homebrew out the concentration. Ice Knife. This should be a second level spell. Also, since the material component is just water, if you don't have a focus, just spit into your hand. Tensor's Floating Disc. You cannot ride this spell. Do not attempt to ride this spell. This spell is for carrying heavy things and then following you around. Please consult your manual for proper floating disc operation, and if you have a workplace accident, remember, you cannot ride this spell to the hospital. Unseen Serpent. I mean, Mage Hand does this just as well, but I guess if you wanted a Ghost Alfred, here's Ghost Alfred. Second level! Cloud of Daggers. It's unavoidable damage because it hits automatically, but then so does Magic Missile, and that does more damage on average. Still, if you can grapple someone standing on the space, shit gets real real quick. Dust Devil. This spell is totally superfluous when compared to Flaming Sphere. There are better ways to cause heavy obscurement. Fine Steed. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Flaming Sphere. You're throwing your big bright balls around and burning everything as a bonus action. What's not to love? Healing Spirit. It's basically 1d6 healing for everybody every turn, so even if it's just used outside of combat, you are getting so much for taking this. Misty Step. You teleport. If you like teleporting, this is for you. Web. For when you need to keep people stuck in your sticky goo. Third level! Call Lightning. It's great if you're outside. If you're inside, have fun finding a room with 120 foot diameter. Conjure Animals. You get an army of beasts that are all secretly fey. Fucking fake. Conjure Barrage. There are just better damage spells for this level. Create food and water. I mean, it works exactly as intended. If you're picking this up, you know what you're in for. Hunger of Hadar. You know how some things let creatures see through darkness? Well, those things can go cry in a tentacle filled corner. Sleet Storm. So, it's Grease, Fog Cloud, and a Concentration Disadvantage Giver. All these things can be accomplished with a level 1 spell. Get out of here with that sleep. Spirit Guardians. Unless they start their turn 15 feet away, most enemies won't even be able to get close enough to hurt you in the first turn. This spell keeps the bad touch away. Stinking Cloud. Behold, it is the 
mighty ass of ripping. Send the dwarf in first. Summon lesser demons. Um, no. The demon can attack anyone not in the circle, which includes your friends, and then you have a goddamn demon to deal with. It's gonna be a no for me, thanks. Thunderstep. It's like Misty Step, but it does great damage. Take it and keep it for when the bad guys get too touchy. Tidal Wave. Never doubt the power of just a huge amount of water. Fourth level! Conjure minor elementals. Alright guys, it's time to fight. Now let me just stand here and cast for a full minute. It's not like there are other summon spells that don't have this needless restriction. Conjure woodland beings. It's sad that woodland critters are more effective than actual elementals. Dimension Door. It's a communal teleport. Avard's Black Tentacles. I always love AoE spells that force people to stay in the AoE. Find Greater Steed. It's like Fine Steed, but better. Grasping Vine. Druids are all Mortal Kombat Scorpion mains. You just can't deny it anymore. Guardian of Faith. It's interesting that it deals a flat 20 damage, and it's also interesting that it remains on you for a full 8 hours. Enjoy that extra layer of protection. Liam in the Secret Chest. I'm sorry, how much for a chest? Why the hell do you need this? DMs barely care about carrying capacity as it is. Morden Kanan's Faithful Hound. Morden Kanan's dog is just as much of a dick as he is. Summon Greater Demon. It's like summon lesser demons, but still, just as bad. Watery Sphere. I don't like that you have to use an action to move this bubble around, and there are better ways to transport people. Fifth level! Cloud Kill. Make sure that you have a way to keep people in that cloud, because 5d8 every turn for free is a really fun time. Conjure Elemental. The upside is that it's a really powerful creature. The downside is now you can lose control of it, and it might start attacking you. Conjure Volley. Now that's a lot of damage. Far Step. In combat, out of combat, if you're ever over here and you want to be over there, this spell will help you out. Infernal Calling. Why? Why do they insist on creating spells that summon powerful creatures that have a good chance of turning on you? I don't get it! Stop summoning demons! Insect Plague. Plop it directly on someone, and it is very likely that they'll take at least two ticks of damage, and maybe more if you can throw them back in. Steel Wind Strike. While you were busy getting gold and seducing dragons, I was studying the blade. Teleportation Circle. Oh damn, is that the Kraken? Well, time to go home, guys! Tree Stride. Hey, wanna see me get to the other side of that forest and back? Want to see me do it again? Sixth level! Arcane Gate. It's useful for getting back and forth, but just use a lower level spell if you want to teleport otherwise. Conjure Fey. It's got all the problems of the elemental summons, except now it's Fey flavored, so it's worse! Draw Mage's Instant Summons. I'm sorry, how much for a Sapphire? And if someone else has the item you're summoning, you don't even get the item, but the Sapphire is still crushed. Draw Mage, baby, please. Hero's Feast. I mean, hey, who doesn't have a thousand gold gem encrusted bowl just lying around? At least the effects are great. Planar Ally. See, I don't mind the casting time on this one because it's clearly not not meant for fighting, it's just a cool role-playing mechanic. Hope you've been pious. Transport via plants. It's like Tree Stride, except it only lasts for one round, but everybody can go through it now. Wall of Thorns. Make a circle, create a fight club. Call it the Thornderdome. Word of Recall. It's the Cleric Teleport made redundant if you have the Circle Teleport. If not, hey, this exists! Seventh level! Conjure Celestial. Better known as Summon Coatl. Just summon the Coatl. Morton Kanan's Magnificent Mansion. As soon as you get this spell, life becomes a walk in the park. Need a long rest? Here, let me just pop a fucking house down. Plane Shift. A one-way ticket to Carceri and an an instant victory button. Teleport. It's great for either getting to the end of the world or getting your face slammed into a mishap. Temple of the Gods. A little less safe than Morn Kanan's, but I really like the idea of going back and praying to a shrine every day to make a permanent monument to your god. Eighth level! Demiplane. Good for hiding, kidnapping, and playing a quick game of blackjack. Incendiary Cloud. Just like Cloud Kill, except it is more killy and more cloudy. Maze. Remember kids, if you're ever stuck in a maze, hug the left wall. Mighty Fortress. It's free. Tsunami. It's like Tidal Wave, but better. Ninth level! Gate. Yogg-Sothoth knows the gate. Yogg-Sothoth is the key and guardian of the gate. Past, present, future, all are one in Yogg-Sothoth. Storm of Vengeance. This spell isn't for light skirmishes in the woods anymore. This spell is for standing at the edge of a cliff and crippling an opposing army in just one minute. Wish. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to be a cool dude. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my social media in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.